I had the opportunity of comparing the Panasonic GH5S to the Arri Alexa Mini. You can view the full test below in the link that I've listed. The first test I did is a noise test and I'm comparing how the noise looks in high ISOs of the cameras. GH5S pretty darn clean at 3200. Moving on to the Arri Mini internal ProRes recording, I'm seeing a lot more noise especially in the blacks and the grays and the greens. And then last, testing Airy Raw Open Gate with a color grade at ISO 3200, still seeing a lot of grain. This is a test that you do to see if the camera is going to work in low light situations where you need that high ISO. The next test I did is a codec test, and you're seeing whether or not the codec in the camera breaks up when it has a lot of movement involved, such as moving water, smoke, leaves, water in trees, rain. Another great way to test codec is just to see how well water and leaves looks. Seeing whether or not it's breaking apart. Does it feel digital? Does it feel natural the way the water is actually hitting the leaves and moving around? All three cameras are handling the codec very well, but you will definitely see more detail in the video link that I have below. The last test that I did is banding. And in banding, you're looking for crazy color shifts when you're pushing that color grade. And one way to see that is when you're looking at a big, vast sky and then pushing that color and seeing if it actually holds up. In conclusion, the Panasonic GH5S handles low light situations better when it comes to noise. If you know you're going to be working with a lot of movement, such as the water and the leaves test that we did, the Arri Alexa internal ProRes recording seemed to handle the codec a little bit better in the shadows. And last, if you think you're going to be pushing color around a lot in post, Arri Alexa shooting open gate raw definitely wins.